Tiger Tutorials. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create and link external style sheets. Uh, the three methods that I'm going to be going over today are external style sheets, importing style sheets, and element styles. So to start off, open up your editor. And I already have some content in here, just for the purposes of demonstration. So I have a paragraph tag, some divisions, some headers, and um, a main division here. And notice that this is an ID and a class, um, just to give an arrangement of um, different possibilities that we could have within our CSS. So um, just to go over the basics, our CSS here has different styles for our page to be changed upon. Um, so we, now that we have all of our CSS um, set up, what we want to do is we want to import the CSS sheet in here without putting style uh, without putting styles in the element tags here, but we will be going over that today. So to begin, you take your page, let me get it really resized for you. Alright, so you make a link, and then you want to make this a style sheet. Type uh, text CSS. And um, the, the href is wherever you stored it on, on your um, your folder. For the purpose of mine, I just have one folder and I don't have any folders within this. Um, so just name your CSS page. And that is it. And you can already notice that um, uh, Dreamweaver has already made the change for us. Um, and when you preview it in Firefox go into Firefox and it looks beautiful so that is the um, external imp importation it's not really importing it but it's externally putting it into it um, the second method today that I'm going to be going over is actually importing it into the body of the HTML and right now um, I've just removed the external style sheet and I'm going to be going over the importing. So to begin you put style type and then just just like before we put text CSS and then we do the at symbol import URL and then we name our style style CSS. Usually I make my styles uh, main not style CSS, but it really depends upon the user. Um, and then we want to close this off. And um, this, the HTML editor, uh, Dreamweaver, is what I'm using. It doesn't know, it doesn't take the um, the style effects immediately because it is imported. I don't think it recognizes it. Um, but when we do preview it in Firefox, it will recognize it and it will make an effect on the page as you can see here. So that was our second method. And then the third method um, is probably the least efficient and um, my personal not favorite one um, is basically just going in here and putting style color red and you just change stuff around like that. Um, but, the, but, but once again um, if you have many pages in your site and you just make element styles and you want to change the style you're going to have to go through every single element here and actually change the style so it can be, be a big hassle and it does pay off in the long run too I'm um, using an external style sheet now out of all the three uh, different options I would highly recommend um, doing the style sheet up here because it does you can um, it does save it on your a website as an external sheet um, and I think um, the website editor I mean your um, Internet Explorer does recognize it um, easier and it does create a cache on the users page that, that they can then access it many times without having to reload the, the CSS uh, the import method is okay but um, you can't see immediate effects on your page and um, I don't, I'm not sure if it stores a cache, and then of course the um, element style 
it's just for some quick fixes and I wouldn't recommend it at all. So please visit my webpage tigertutorials.com and you can get a full tutorial, textual tutorial. Um, I have all the different code here that I used in this tutorial. So take a look at tigertutorials.com. Um, please rate and please subscribe. Thank you.